back that you kept saying eat fox meat. What if I told you the only proven way to live longer is to eat a near starvation diet? Would you do it? Michael Ray and April Smith do. So before they eat, they weigh every tomato, every stalk of asparagus, everything to the gram. On this night, I joined the couple for a dinner of tomato salad, asparagus, tilapia, and a brownie sundae. A total of 639 calories, exactly. This actually looks like a lot of food. Ray and Smith are chasing life by following a calorie restriction or CR diet, eating the fewest possible calories while still getting all the required nutrients. Smith is five feet two, 102 pounds. Ray is six feet tall and weighs only 115 pounds. Smith and Ray are eating less because they want to live longer. Is there something wrong with just the aging process? I mean, you know, we're all going to age at some point. Uh, we're going to get to a certain age and then we're, we're going to die. That's just, that's well, what happens. Aging is a fatal degenerative disease and we treat it like it's not because everyone has it. But the fact that everyone has it doesn't make it not a degenerative process. If CR gets us more years of young, healthy life, I'm for that. Since the 1930s, researchers have known that reducing the calories fed to lab rats and mice could extend their maximum lifespan by 35% or more. Ongoing studies in rhesus monkeys also look promising. The calorie-restricted monkeys are healthier as a group than their fully fed counterparts, although it's still too early to know if they'll live longer. Now, the National Institute on Aging wants to see if humans might benefit from calorie restriction. The federal agency is funding a two-year study with plans to put 160 people on a calorie restriction diet. Eric Ravison, one of the lead investigators, says participants eating the study's carefully planned and meticulously measured diet may lose 35 to 50 pounds over two years. I think that here we will see people, if they start already at a rather low weight, to be really at a skinny, skinny weight. And here we'll get more chance to look at longer lasting changes in some of these physiological parameters. In a preliminary six month study of 48 slightly overweight people, calorie restriction resulted in an average weight loss of 10%, most of it fat. Total cholesterol went down. HDL or good cholesterol went up. Those who followed a calorie-restricted diet also showed less damage to their DNA. And I think, you know, one of the cause of aging, of course, is uh, damage to your DNA and uh, abnormal regulation of your uh, genetic code. Calorie restriction also resulted in a lower body temperature. That's something linked to longer life. A lower body temperature can make people on calorie restriction feel cold. Some also complain of irritability, lack of energy, and a diminished sex drive. Ray says he's healthier than he's ever been, and he has more energy. Well, your metabolic state is just such that your body is just, you know, vibrating with it. You almost have to use mystical language to talk about it in terms of like just energy and so forth. Even so, Ravison says the only way to get large numbers of people to reap the benefits of calorie restriction is putting its properties in a pill. People could take it without having to significantly alter their diets. It's something being researched by a number of drug companies. Whether restricting calories will extend the lives of people like April Smith and Michael Ray is not yet known. But the long-term effects of overeating are clear. Obesity raises the risk for diabetes, heart disease, cancer, and joint problems. Some researchers actually believe the average lifespan in the United States will, for the first time ever, begin declining because so many of us are seriously overweight. April Smith and Michael Ray are what most would consider underweight by choice. April eats only 1,300 calories a day. Michael eats 1,900. By every measure you can look at me, whether it's how I feel, whether it's how often I get ill, whether it's my risk of disease, whether it's you know just my ability to carry on work or whatever, I'm in the best shape that a human being could be in. There have been no studies, Michael, that have shown that calorie restriction definitely prolongs life in humans. Right. There have been some it in would other take animals. It takes years to do that study. It takes a long study. Right. But what if what if it comes out that it doesn't? Would you still do a diet like this? Um, well, no. Um, although I might do something very close to it, because although in that case it wouldn't be slowing down the aging process, which is why I'm doing this, you do feel 
a heck of a lot better on CR than you do eating a conventional diet. I just know I want to do everything I can to keep feeling good. And for me, there's really no trade-off. I feel so much better now than I did before CR that even if I knew I was going to get hit by a bus five years from now, it would not make sense for me to change. So, if I started eating the way they do every day, researcher Eric Ravison says I might live three and a half or four years longer. Or maybe not. Dr. Nir Barzilai directs the Institute for